MLB The Show is on the air as we come at you this evening from Globe Life Park in Arlington. Tonight it's the first of four between the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. Stay tuned for Rangers baseball next. And he set down one away. Digging in, Eddie Rosario. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Can't ask for better conditions. 83 degrees here at first pitch tonight. And another foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting third, the first baseman, number 33. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that in. Stepping up now, Chris Maybe Davis. For the Yankees. He'll start things the out in the field, top half of the two. second. Now he lifts Chris a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Another one sent foul. Now another 0-2. Sliced hard on the ground. Odor has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. At the plate, Travis Darno. And the average Patrick. isn't pretty. Travis Down into the roaring Darneau. 220s to begin the ball game. Here's the pitch. A weak chopper up the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis now, and he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is... Here's big Aaron Judd. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Gallo is over, and he puts it away for the first out. Batting eight. A little Short bouncer. Stop. That's a foul Freddy ball. Galvin. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Ready with the first Counting pitch. Right. Here it comes. Ronald Torres is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He has been aggressive in this inning. Owen. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And, and that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. Oh for one for him here in this one. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 0-2 home. Hit down the third baseline. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Yankees. What a great swing. That ball got back as far as he could, and he shot it right past the third baseman. Now, the third baseman wasn't no playing on the line. He's off Center the line a little bit, Eddie but I still like the execution Rosario. of the swing. The 0-1 on its way to first. Andrus. On to first, and they turn the double play. The left-handed power bat of Greg Up Bird digs in now. First He's baseman. 0 for 1 thus far. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Here's the pitch. 
Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Balbuena is underneath this one, and he will put it away to retire the side. Here's Chris Davis now. Comes into this at Leading bat 0 for Yankees. 1 in the ball game. The left fielder, number Way two. late on the fastball for strike Davis. one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Travis Darno is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mazzara going back on it to the track. He's there, but oh, he missed it. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he'll make it to third base. Almost a home run there, but he's got himself a triple instead. Now batting. Third base. And the first pitch is chopped foul Mike. right at home plate. It's strike one. Hit out towards second. A door is there. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. First pitch of the at bat the on right its way. And here's a ball hit in the Aaron air. Judge. Gallo is there for it. I got it. I got it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again. Freddie Galvis will start things Maybe out in their the half of the sixth as they look to shake things up Freddie here for a lineup Galvin. that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Freddie now, Galvis buddy. becomes Second the base. first out of the inning. Ronald, Ronald Torres is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. First pitch coming. Here it is. Cattell Marte is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. So a two out single gives him new life here in the inning but it's a bright spot in what's been a fairly dismal season offensively for them in terms of overall batting average and that's not all that promising a number as they find themselves just one spot off the bottom in the American League that's taken now it's 0 and 2 and that's swung on and fouled straight back looking to punch him out again the pitch and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And Maybe guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And Andrus will take this one in with two hands for the first out. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. Well, left a lefty fielder, and two. a right-hander are throwing Chris down there. Davis. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no hey. doubt. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. Travis. Chopped foul over no, no. towards the dugout. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. I got it, I got it. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Ryan Butcher has been summoned from the bullpen. 
four to two with the final score tonight. Boomer Big Dog gets his league leading 22nd win as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Masahiro Tanaka is tagged with the loss despite giving. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up. MLB The Show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside. Boomer Big Dog will have the challenge of stopping these guys. Leading this is a guy that's got side. a workhorse mentality out hitter. there, not afraid Rodrigo to throw a lot of pitches. Cardona. But if he gets careless with his location, he can be hittable. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. A door under it to put it away for the first down. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. And he's hoping to get things second. going at the plate. Right it's been a bit hey. of a struggle Joey for him in recent games. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. This one's flared out toward left. Cunningham has it in his sights. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. In now is Anthony Rendon. It was a two hit third. effort for him, including third a home run six. in last night's game. Anthony Rendon. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So coming to the plate, Alexis Alonzo. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. In there for strike one, 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. And he struck him out. Digging in, Tyler Austin. He Not enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Sam Henson is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And this is fouled at the plate. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Andrews ranging into the outfield. And the inning is over. Ready now, Omar Narvaez comes off, off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Foul back. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? On the ground up the middle, and the White Sox have their first hit of the game. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit call. This is a good Second jump start for him. Andrews on the first to complete the double play.
into the windup and the pitch. Now a fastball is swung on and tipped foul right near home plate. It's strike one. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Digging in to try it again. Rodrigo Cardona. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Cardona. Cunningham is there. One pitch, one out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Anthony Rendon will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Man, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Striding in once again, Alexis Alonzo. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. The wind up and the 0 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit. Play a little small ball, get it going. Tyler Austin comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. And another foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Center Sam Henson. 12. First two men Sam in the inning have Henson. both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And low, it's a ball and a strike. No runs, just one hit. And no errors so far for the White Sox. And this is fouled straight back. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ready for another chance? Omar Narvaez. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they've faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Settling in now. Chris Hammonds comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second, fielded by a door. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Digging in once again, Rodrigo Cardona. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. The batter, right fielder. Here's the first pitch, chopped foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. 
And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike, 0-2. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid now to me. Batting. So he punches Very him out pitchman. looking at the fastball. Anthony Joey Rickard Rendon. goes down for out number two in the top half. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. Mazzara is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. In order, go the white. Ready once again, Alexis Alonzo. We're in the eighth Leading now the and side. nothing's changed Left out fielder, there on the mound. Alexis well, I've been very Alonso. impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Boy, two beautiful pitches. I, I don't know, two fastballs inside. Do you stay in or do you go back outside? He's got him set up for anything right now. So he got him swinging. Alexis Alonzo goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Tyler Austin is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2 to third. Gallo is there. Throw in time at first for route number two. Ready for another shot now. Sam Henson. Two away here in the eighth and time's running out on him Danny. Yeah they don't have a lot of outs left to work with so it's and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the end. Two three go the way. Into the windup and the pitch. Omar Novaez is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 0 2. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. At the plate, Jarvis Lowe. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And he starts the number 8 hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line. But it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Oh, he lifts a high pop up drifting into foul territory on the right side and no one will get this one the wind up and the 0 2 pitch hit on the ground down the first baseline but this will be a foul ball and it's still 0 and 2 neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again another 0 and 2 coming lifted into the air to shallow center the shields coming on and he tracks it down a nice running play to record the second out stepping in Chris Hammonds he's their last now shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to Chris avoid the shutout Hammond. yeah Matt they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. foul back and now this crowd estimated at around 26,000 fans comes to their feet struck him out and that'll do it tonight for the White Sox. 4 nothing the score tonight. The Rangers win their 40th game in front of the home crowd this year. Boomer Big Dog wins for the 23rd time in... A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up. From 161st Street here in the Bronx, MLB The Show's got baseball from Yankee Stadium. Tonight, the opener of a three-game...
So digging in now, Jesus Carmona, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. And Harold, you take a look at these Rangers entering play here tonight. They'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Matt, I love these games. Two first-place teams. I mean, you know you're going to get good baseball. You know they're going to be competitive, and they're looking across each other. What I really want to watch are the managers. Who makes the critical move at the critical time? DeShields is right there, one down. Digging in, Cattell Marte. And he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. Swinging a looper to left. Point shading to his right. Two down. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. On to Here's Chris Davis now. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball's right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. On to first with it is Andrus, and it's in time, one away. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis now. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. The 0-2 delivery. Ground ball left side. Gallo comes up with it. Throw on to first. He'll get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Here's big Aaron Judge. He comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is... Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. Leading He's just hoping Yankees. for something to go his Let's way in this up. one. And as you can see, it's not Ready. been the case of late. Galvis. And this is fouled at the plate. Hey, two outs. The 0-2 oh, delivery. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another 0-2 oh, home. Hit on the ground out to short. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Ronald Ture is the next to bat. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Nobody out, runner on first. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Hector Sanchez. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up foul, still 0-2. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. So he sets him down swinging. Hector Sanchez becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Andrus has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. He's 0 for 1 thus head. far. Cattell Marte. Ground ball right side. Odor has it. A quick out number one. Striding in once again, Greg First Bird. 0 for 33. 1 for him here in this one. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Hit hard on the ground is short. Andrus fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. 
Digging in for his second at bat. Chris the Davis comes Number into this two. at bat 0 for 1 Chris in the ball game. Davis. Way in front of that fastball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. The Shields is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in to try it again, Mike Mustakis. He leads off in the bottom Leading of the fifth the as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Mike. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And the throw on the first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Here's the first pitch to him. Aaron Judge will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Oh, one pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. Oh, and two. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. I like the call for the two-strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting. Stop. And this is on the ground Ready. now for Andrus at short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready for another chance. Ronald Torres will start things out in their Way half of the, the sixth as they look to shake Second things up baseline. here for a lineup that, Ronald. quite frankly, has been oh, non existent yeah. to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Hector Sanchez is at the plate as he watches ball one. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. And now the Ranger bullpen now swings into action. A lefty fielder. and a right-hander are throwing down there. Marmona. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of any time you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Here comes another 0 2. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another Leading shot. Could tell Marte. No hits in two hitter. trips to the plate Cattell for him in the ball game. Marte. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Next pitch, chop foul right at home plate, and he's behind nothing in two now. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Cattell Marte is dealt with 30. for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Greg Bird comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. And, and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as the a left-hander left starts to Number get cranking two. down there. Hot Red. shot on the ground is short. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Here comes the first pitch. Mike Mustakis is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there puts him at 90% of hitters he's throwing first pitch strike to. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Point going back. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Another one sent foul. Ready with another 0-2. 
And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Jordan Lyles is on to pitch out of the book. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Carlos Fabregas claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that'll just about do it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up. Afternoon baseball now from the heart of Texas and Globe Life Park in Arlington. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in Leading check. The His number is right the there on the right side of your screen. Number 24. Harold, this Ranger ball club as they begin play. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. Well, Matt, it's nice to wake up in a day game and know your ace is going to be on the mound. It's just one of those win days. Seems like you got to the park early, and before you know it, the game's going to be over, and you're going to have a W. Here comes another 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. Exactly. He's back in the starting right lineup for this one after Cole sitting out Calhoun. last night's game. Our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees, 89 yeah. degrees to be exact at first pitch. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh 2. High in the air out to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And this is fouled back and out of play. Just underway in Arlington. Now a big swing by Trout, and he connects on this one. That's out to deep left field. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. On the ground, softly towards second. Throw on to Alonzo, yeah. takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Here's Chris Carter now, and he comes into this one Leading really the slumping. Angle. The numbers there over the past there. several games, Chris. not oh, very yeah. pretty. Right over the middle, knee yeah. high. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. And this is going to be a foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. And now pitch on the way. On the ground up the middle, there is Dozier. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So striding forward now, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier. And the average isn't Todd pretty. Down into Frazier. the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. So it was a strikeout looking Not there. Effect. Todd Frazier Second is sent one. packing for route Danny number two Espinosa. in the inning. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another one sent foul. The next 0-2. 
chop foul at the plate and he stays alive still 0 and 2. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling no doubt. Throws him for strike three and that retires the side. Hey, no outs. No outs. Into out the, the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 0-2 home. A little tapper. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Into the box, Hernan Perez. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. Into the box now, Kevin Ploiecki hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. And he gets ahead 0-1. Right side hit hard. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. CJ Crone is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs. Striding in once again, Cole Calhoun comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Cole Calhoun goes quietly leading off the fourth. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. This is an interesting matchup, Matt. These are two of the best players in the oh, league. You got a possible MVP candidate in the hitter and a possible Cy Young Award winner in the pitcher. What a matchup. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Skied into straightaway right. Mazzara's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in to try it again. Chris Carter. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Down the third baseline. The 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. 1 and 1, here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight. And, put and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Digging in for his second at bat, Todd Leading Frazier. He'll look to get something Third going baseman. here in this scoreless Todd ball game. Frazier. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled straight back. There's a ball. fastball that just misses ball one. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Cunningham is there, and he has it for the first out. Ready for another chance. Danny Espinosa, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Danny Chopped weakly Espinosa. to the left. Gallo charging this one on to first, and there are two down. In now is Andrelton Simmons. Now Comes batting. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Takes a high fastball for a strike. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0 and 2 on this hitter. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Or none for Red. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Well, that was a pretty good swing right there. Tough changeup, back-to-back changeups. He fouls it off. Now you get the pitch you want because I can't see him throwing another changeup right here. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Hernan Perez goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Grounded foul off to the right. No runs, just one hit, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, and he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Up next for the Angels. First and this is fouled back and out of play. Crone. No runs, just one hit, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is stepping in. Cole Calhoun. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. And another foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Ready with another 0-2. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. And now from the air, a jump throw. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Chris Carter is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And no one will get this one. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game in the inning. Ready once again. Todd Frazier. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Swing and a miss. 0-1. And, and this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer well, starts three. to get loose out there. And this is Espinosa. fouled oh, yeah. off to the right and back into the seats. Now a swing and a ground ball. But this will get foul for strike two. Matt, I like the last two pitches. The changeup and then the fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. Got him to go down swinging the there. Danny two. Espinoza Shortstop. is sent packing for the second out of the Seven. inning. Throw on to Alonzo, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Hernan Perez, Angels. 0 for Lock 2 here to start the afternoon. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. And this is going to be a foul ball. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to third. Gallo has it. Throw on to first for the out. And that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in once again. Kevin Ploiecki. He's one for two in the ball game. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here comes the 0-1. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Trying to send him packing for the second time. It hard but foul toward first so he'll come back and line it up again. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. 
Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Here's C.J. Crone now. He's their last shot here with two it? away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Crone. Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And this is going to be a foul ball. And now this crowd right around 34,000 fans comes to their feet. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Hey, two away now. Looking for the complete game. Here's the pitch. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one, and this ball game is over. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Texas earned the victory despite only collecting four. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.